Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Passive Money. Uh, I'm here with Alex. Uh, and today's question is, if there was one stock that you could own today and it dropped 20% tomorrow, what's and you still had to hold it, what stock would that be? I Alex, did I confuse you with that one? Or you, you got it? No, I got it. Um, okay, cool. Because I had a couple, and I'm I'm assuming you mean single stock, right? Not like ETF. Yeah, single stock, no ETF or nothing like that. Um, I'll probably go with Berkshire Hathaway. B, B shares. Um, and Berkshire because of their strategy, and they have a wide portfolio, well diverse, and um. I mean, they're, they're just a huge company. And all the companies that they invest in and the companies that they own are reputable companies that produce money. And not trying to put the man in the grave, but we've talked about if Warren had passed away, uh, we would see some kind of reaction. So, you know, the question is, you know, why is the stock reacting that way? Why is it dropping 20%? It's not always a logical reason. So if it does drop 20%, I wouldn't mind being in that one and buying up more shares. Right. Yeah. And, and Berkshire Hathaway is, is a, a good company. I mean, and I, I have no problem with your selection. Only question I would ask is, will the business model stay the same once the old man is gone? I mean, I know they have, you know, I know they have, you know, put processes and procedures to make it run the same way. Right. But will the, will the nostalgia, will the, will the highlight Will the will the uh, the gravity that the company has, will the attraction that the company has, still be the same if Warren Buffett is not there? I think, and again, I'm not saying nothing bad about the company, the stock, or anything like that. I think a lot of nostalgia and why people are dedicated to it is because the comfort of Warren Buffett, the way that he can articulate, he can make it make it make sense to the common man and i think just like with anything like you said if if he you know goes in the ground tomorrow god forbid but if he goes into the ground tomorrow the stock will take a hit the people will will lose that comfort will lose that safety net of one buck at the helm so we're gonna be all right um but I like the selection i like the selection like you said they have a, a huge portfolio good quality cash flowing company um, they they bring a lot of cash flow, not a lot of net interest income to the game. My only thing about it is, will the people that, I mean, you know, 10, 15 years, you're younger than me, 10, 15 years from now, will the boat still be steered in the same direction in Warren's image? Or will somebody get the case of the big head and bear off course? But I like the selection a lot. I just love because I love the portfolio. The portfolio is amazing. Um, for me, for me, if it was one stock, and the reason why it's a stock is is not something that I'm a huge consumer of. I do have, I do have, uh, you know, a couple products, but I'm not, I'm not a, a, a devout, devout to the, you know, the products and stuff like that. But just the how the organization is done all together. I have two, but I'm just gonna go with one. Is I'll, it will be Apple. Uh, I own Apple now. If it dropped twenty percent, I would not think about selling it. I mean, it would have to be. It would have to be something like stupid crazy because I because the reason why is I don't see nothing else replacing it, even if they had a big setback like that. It would be Apple, and the reason why is because of the moat. Like Apple, once they get you in their moat, it's hard to leave. I mean, I rarely hear, I mean, I know it happens, but I rarely hear people who is immersed in the Apple products, you know, using the iCloud, using uh, different features inside of Apple that leave Apple and go back to IE Android. And then so usually when you get the iPhone, if you're looking at tablets, because the connectivity between all of them, you get an iPad, you get a MacBook, you get all those things that, because it's interconnectivity, so you can be working on something on your phone, then go to your computer, go to your computer, back to your phone, to your tablet, and the whole wazoo. Now they're 
you know, they got the Apple TV. They have some great shows on there. I don't watch much TV, but they do got some great shows on there. Lioness, they they outdid this up with this one. Um, but then now they're going into this the sports package arena. So for me, it'll be Apple. What you say about that one? Um, yeah, Apple is a good pick. Uh, I don't know why I didn't even think of Apple. Apple is huge. Um, now you said you can't see. You said unless something crazy happens, though. So that yeah, I mean, because we've seen like. Because Apple, for instance, like a lot of their cost is um, like their labor cost is from China, correct? And I've thought about yeah. this is with things going on with China, could India be another um, option for outsourcing labor? Yeah, and, and that's what yeah. Apple did. They started. Yeah, that's what Apple did. They started outsourcing uh you know parts of stuff to other countries especially with the craziness going on with china and taiwan that right. whole situation so it's not all encompassed in china anymore um okay. and and going back to your part about berkshire berkshire the founder warren buffett that's i mean he's 95 right um he's 95 he's he's you know he's getting long in the tooth. I mean, trying to say it, trying to say it mildly. He's he's getting up there in age. So when a founder or the head developer pass, impacts happen. With Apple, that's already happened. Steve Jobs already passed. Right. Apple had their go down, come up. It. Um. So if something happens to the CEO, now everybody else is just CEO. You know, they they just managing the people that's around them, managing the people that's around them. So. That's the reason why I pick Apple. Berkshire Hathaway would 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 have been my number two, uh, and then my number three would have been Microsoft because of the in, enterprise uh, action that they have. Like ninety nine percent of the companies around the world use Microsoft products, so they have a strong moat. I mean, a stupid crazy moat. Uh, and then I think my number four would be something like Amazon. But those are companies right there that I own. That I will own now, even if it dropped 10, 20 percent, I will still uh, own. And in Amazon's case, that's the thing. I've, I've owned Amazon be pre split at 811. Amazon dropped in the, uh, 2023, it dropped 20 percent. And I'm still yelling to tell people to, to keep on buying. It. So those are those are ones. Same thing with Apple and uh, Microsoft also. So I'm. I'm just preaching a book that I already have, but yeah, but Berkshire Hathaway would be my strong number two behind Apple. Right. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Let us know your stock pick down below. Share this video and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.